Welcome back to the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast, the podcast where we bring up stuff that you guys never cared to know or ask. So on today's episode, we're going to talk about, missed my armrest there, we're going to talk about um, changing culture and terminology and trends and things like that, um, comparing how we grew up to how a 12-year-old currently experiences it. How did you grow up, Andrew? That's I didn't mean financially, but we can That's talk about that too. Not what I was asking. You just said how we grow up, and no, no, no. so I know how I grew up. So how did you grow up? So I'm saying like terminology and stuff. The question I gave C in the car the other day was she brought up something or she said something about a sleepover, and I said, "When did that like term change?" Because growing up for me, it was spend the night. We never said sleepover. Oh, yeah, that. I No, then that must be a Midwest versus everywhere else thing because yeah. I grew up with sleepover. I've See, never called it a, a lot better spend the than night. Who just spe- the, who just says It doesn't roll off the tongue. Spending a spend the night. Over? Spending the night. Not Ew. spending over. Yeah, stop. Like if if I called up my friends from TJ's house, for example, okay. and I said, "Mom, can I spend the night at TJ's?" That's the question I would ask. Not, can I have okay. a sleepover at TJ's? I, I can see it in that phrase, and I've probably said it like that to my own mom, but... Mm. Sleepover has the same connotation to me as saying play date would be to like a teenager rather than hang out. What? Saying sleepover. I think you're... Mixing things up. No. Making it more complicated than it needs to be. No, I'm just, I'm saying that that's the way that I grew up. If somebody was saying that I was having a sleepover, it would, that sounds to me like my parents scheduled a play date with my friends and I'm like, yeah, you're making it more complicated than it needs to be. So, no, not, not you. It's just, it's just, it's just sleeping <laughs> over. I'm ta- yeah, I'm sleeping over, camera. having a sleepover. It's, it's not a, you, you I don't know. The way that you're making it sound is less than. No, it's not that it's less than. It's just there are stages that you go through when you're growing up or when your parents are like, do you want want to have a play date? Having a play date at five years old is not like having a sleepover at 12 years old. It's completely different. If your parents said, do you want to have a play date to you right now? C. I know. I can fix it. C. Do you want to have a play date with your friend? What would your reaction be? I instantly go, Mom, it's hangout. It's hangout. Okay, but that change happens around age 10, it, not... It, it does. Yeah, so Actually, all the way... Actually, age 9. Okay, between... I would say, I would say that happens at around age 10 because you're going from single digits to now I am double digits. I'm so mature. Gotcha. So it it's a very recent change, but I also know the difference. I would not say, hey, C, call up O and let's have a play date tomorrow. <laughs> like, Gross. OMG. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my God. It, I think it took C as Siri. Yeah. That's that's what I'm gonna guess is that it took C as C. Like just, <laughs> you said it just enough that it picked anyways, up a little bit. Anyways, but so like things like that. So hangout versus play date, um, or I don't know what else would you call it. Like I like just even even going to my grandparents. Do you want her to come over? Even going to my grandparents yeah, stuff like that as a over. kid. Yeah. yeah, even going to my grandparents as a kid. Hey, can I go spend the night with grandma and grandpa? It was never, can I have a sleepover at grandma and grandpa's? I never, ever said sleepover. And I don't ever When remember. you guys we still have your like annual sleepover with Aunt Nicole, we you guys call it, a sleepover. call it a sleepover. Yeah. It's not what? a spend, the, like just, it doesn't roll off the tongue in any other sense other than asking for permission. May I please go spend the night at 
X, Y, and Z. So we'd also say stay the night, just to be clear. Stay the night, spend the night. Mm, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like... Yeah. I don't like when people say I'm going to stay over. Like it just sounds weird. It sounds to like me. you're going to live there for the rest of yeah, your life. Yeah. This is my house <laughs> that's, now. That's why you say stay the night. I, no. No. I, wonder, I don't like it. I wonder what stay first. Sounds like you're never going to leave ever. No, sleepover is is definitely is saying I want to spend the night a cultural or regional thing. Didn't mean to ask that. Okay. Is asking to have a sleepover a cultural? Oh it's not <laughs> cultural. <laughs> I, is asking to have a sleepover a regional thing? Good job. It was us. Finally did it. Do, do, do. Sleepovers are common among teenagers worldwide. Not to. I'm not asking if physically doing it. Do you consider yourself a teenager or are you a tweenager? Preteen. Ew. Yeah. Nobody says that. No, That's no disgusting. That. Yeah. <laughs> that is disgusting. Yeah. We that's... It's either teenager or a tweenager. Or just I it was just tween. tween. Yeah. Yeah. No, tween for if you, sure. If you're like you quickly say, saying it, yeah. that's tween. Yeah. But if you're just or, or yeah. someone she would also say, say a more preteen version of it, but I'm not going to say it in front of her. Disgusting. Yeah. Why? Right. Why? It just is disgusting. I don't. I'm, like, I'm like, saying it like Charlotte says. I know, it. but I don't, I don't understand why though. Like, say it in a sentence. Say tween. No, uh, pre-teenager or whatever. My daughter's a preteen. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Incites disgust. Yeah. Why though? I Instant don't understand. Instant disgust. What do you guys think? Come on, like chime in on this stuff because I can't be the only one. It is either teenager or tweenager. All right, Missy, hold your horses between over there. Okay. <laughs> sleepover and staying the night terminology. Do do do. I love this. You're a goofball with your memes. Please. While both are widely understood, sleepover is more common for casual gatherings, especially among young people. Staying the night might be used in a more formal setting or among adults. However, there is a strict, strict regional difference. So, yeah, like if I was going to a friend's house as an adult, I would definitely say I was staying the night, not that I was sleeping over. What is that? I really... Cor corals? I don't have my contacts and you have a spice. Spice quarrel. It's it's despicable me. Gruel. How he says gorals. Gorals. Can I show the camera? Sure. It's okay. this one right here. Gorals. There you go. <laughs> and that was his face, Gru. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm moving along then. <laughs> C. Yeah, I would hope you wouldn't be going to any sleepovers as an adult, Andrew. Yeah, please. What? So stop. I'm yeah. trying to think of if there's ever, like, I'm staying here tonight. If I was like, if I was somewhere, like, if I, for when I was when I was commuting to Durham, like, I would just say, I guess I'm staying here tonight, or I'm getting an Airbnb or staying in a hotel. It's completely different. I know. I'm, but I'm just trying to think of like the equivalent or something similar like i'm trying to think of what i would say in that kind of situation that's all and I'm, I'm staying here tonight i guess you're making everything confusing. yeah you're making no. everything way more complicated than no. it needs to be but um people, the one thing that you need to learn is nobody says preteen there are people that there are people that analyze this kind of stuff and there are there's like there's historians. Well, you're over analyzing it. You're making it no. an issue. No. It doesn't need to be an issue. Somebody, somebody tag your local word person. <laughs> Ask them. A linguistic sure. expert. Sure. Sure. That is local to the Midwest. No, no, I'm the saying, South. No, I'm saying and... like somebody that they know. Like doesn't have to actually be local. It could be somebody that you know online. Tag them. Again, you're making this way more complicated okay. than it needs to okay. be. Sure, sure. But again. Hopefully you just learned. Don't ever say the word 
preteen. What other what other things have we said that in your mind you're like we don't say it like that anymore? Or even if you don't actually say it out loud, instantly like, thought disgusting. Yeah. Is there a different version of go to bed? I'm just I'm throwing stuff out there because you might have something crazy if I just say a bunch of phrases. <laughs> Do kids say something different than yeah, go it's to now bed? Yeet to bed. No, just yeah, kidding. I'm yeah. just kidding. I'm just kidding. Throw yourself yeah. Yeah. No. Yeet, yeah. yeet yourself. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Cash would do that. That's, that's like going and getting a little, one of those little mini trampolines. Yeah, right. You just have to get a running jump start. Right. So. I know. I'm totally kidding. All right. What would you say is what you young humans say these days? You gave us some like examples of other weird slang, but I'm saying like things that there's already a one to one. Like you took what we have or had growing up or like our parents had and have had growing up, like the variations of it now. Actually, while you think about that, is it soda or pop? Um, pop is Midwest, soda is South. No, to you specifically, because you don't say y'all. And soda. you are from the South. I have I had never heard pop until okay. I was a late teenager and that was finding out that people in the Midwest said that. And I was like what? Do any of your friends say y'all? Do any of them even have southern draws or anything? I haven't. I don't know. Uh, do, you think, do you think the southern accent is like dying off? T has a little bit oh, of a yeah, southern yeah. drawl. Do you think southern accent's dying off? No. No. I don't hear any young people no. with a southern accent. No. We are just in a diverse area with when I was in Georgia, lots I never heard of it. people. Except for when I got cussed out of the, from... at the pizza place. Okay. And you were around military who were from all over. Okay, but this is not the town that I was at near Camp Darby was far enough away mm -hmm. and desolate enough that nobody lived there. Like nobody wanted to live there. You would live in Columbus or the surrounding areas. Maybe Auburn, if you wanted to be far but still close to something cool, but you're saying nobody in, in Auburn had a Southern accent. I don't believe that for a second. There weren't very many. I yeah, I don't believe that at all. There weren't very many. I mean, that was a long time ago too. That was what fifteen, right? And you were probably blackout drunk every time you were in Auburn, no. so you don't even actually remember. No, no, we were out there like all blackout the time. drunk. No. I don't believe for a second that nobody in Auburn Did anybody, Georgia okay. has. So when we watched the uh, Your Honor, that was... Louisiana? Yeah. That is French Creole. That is completely they, different. But they still didn't have... That is completely They still didn't have different. any Bayou, 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 Bayou accent? It's completely different. They, weren't, they didn't have any Southern... No, none of the characters had any Southern accent. They're not different. even they're not even portraying a southern accent on TV anymore unless it's like some rich um what do you want to call it uh plantation owner in like a racist connotation. It's like the only time that they ever use a southern accent. Will Farrell in uh Eastbound and Down. But so is it Miss, soda? Miss C is yes. over there just showing us loaf memes. So it's it's soda to you. Yes, it is soda. When you go to your friend's house, so I know that some people say Coke too as well. For like a Sprite, for, they'll ask for a Coke. But all soda, yeah. they would just say Coke. Yeah. Why? Is that the only soda they care about? No, that like they'll ask for a Sprite, but they say Coke. No. It's I like asking don't for a understand. Kleenex. Understand? Yeah, I don't understand. It doesn't matter if it's tissue from Kleenex brand or from Walmart brand. Still call it Kleenex. That's what people do. Some people do for carbonated beverages. I don't understand that at all. Because and then there are people that do say soda pop, but that's like a fifties well, thing that's probably oh, died it off. Says pop for like funny reasons, like just for fun. I'm gonna pop you in your ear, like that, or or you're talking about or, the drink or soda. 
but we'll just randomly say pop just yeah. to be funny. Yeah. So making fun of all you Midwesterners. <laughs> oh, well. I, I wonder, there, there used to be a thing. I don't know if you can still find this or not, but there used to be a tool where you could find um, like the trends of word usage over time. Specifically, it was like in books, but you could probably do it with video nowadays where they, they would analyze every word in a book and say how many times were was the word like the, like T-H-E-E used and how that's like tapered off over the years. So I'd be, I'd be curious to see which one is more predominant, if it's soda or pop. You, you think it's soda? Do, do, do. Stop with that. That's really annoying. Yes. Well, there can't be dead air, so I can just... I do think that it is soda. Is See, like, is, it, is it still going? Yeah. Jeez. Okay. I still need to... I need to memorize those so I know which ones to use and when to use them. Move around and stuff. Because there's a bleep button and it actually mutes our microphone. So if you hold it down, it'll bleep and you can Show see. Show me which button that is. It's on the next page. It's... I think it says bottom one right here. Mom's going to press that button. <laughs> I already know it. Um, <laughs> sensor right there. <laughs> See? Are, are people, the people watching this are like, why are they experimenting right now on the channel? You could also change, so there's these different effects. So you can turn you into like a robot voice. I had, uh, no, Charlotte and Cash, I had them doing it. They thought it was funny. So, C, other words. What do you call, huh? I don't know. What do you call a hoodie? A hoodie? So that came about, like, in our generation. A that hoodie. wasn't... A hoodie is always a hoodie. Okay, but, like... Even hoodies we, without hoods are hoodies. We invented that word, though. I remember the first time asking my parents for one. And they're like, what is that? Sweatshirt? Is that was... It was a hoodie. Is that what... They yeah. knew it yeah. as? Yeah. Interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. So that came about. Yeah, but if you think about the clothes in the 80s, they didn't have, they, they were sweatshirts without hoods, right? They were just those like basic polyester sweatshirts that were like. You're talking about like the college, the, what do they call those, the. Are you talking about a Letterman jacket? No, 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 no. The actual, like the hoodies that's like established, blah, blah, blah. It's the, like the university. But they didn't have hoods. I know, but I'm saying like no, that. No, I'm talking about like, I don't know, was Champion around back into the 80s? I feel like they I'm were. I'm pretty sure they were huge back then. Right. That's what I'm thinking of. Like a like a sweat suit, the matching track suit, sweat suit. Oh, you're talking about like the Adidas, like the Slavic people love to wear. Well, it's more than that, but they didn't have hoods. They were okay, like these things that that we call hoodie. People would wear we as just, a whole outfit, and then it was. I think you used to be able to get what you're talking about with like a zip on and zip off hoodie. See, see, huh? You could zip on and zip off your hood. Do you remember the ones where you could do that with your sleeves too? They had the pants that did that and the. No, I didn't see the ones with the sleeves, but yeah, they were really big with the pants of boys when I was in That's middle school. That's apparently making a comeback. No! Yeah. Not allowed. Disowned. Not allowed. People, Not I, allowed. I just saw... Just like, um, uh, what, what were they called? Wheelies? Those shoes Heelies. that have Heelys. Okay, okay. so yeah. my actually, classmate has Heelys. Oh my god, they were huge when I was in middle no, school, that's a, and they got have them they anymore. got banned yeah, when she, I was in middle school that's because a, that's a perfect one because I I haven't I mean like I see it periodically and I hear people call it that, but I'm pretty sure that's not what we called it, and I don't know what we called it. That's the, that's it's, the name. He, he yeah, he that was the brand. Yeah. So it's called. It's like calling Vans Vans because they are. That's the brand. I really don't remember. Whereas you can't call another slip on shoe a pair of Vans because it's not the brand. That's why I don't understand you saying people say Coke for Sprite. Yes, Coke created Sprite. They own that 
brand and that that I don't say but I I don't I don't understand calling Coke Sprite because it's a soda yes but it's not Coke it's a southern thing for sure no I I've never heard no what is a southern thing that is sweet tea I'm saying the the term the (laughs) use of the term uh no, I I disagree. Them. Places across the country and what they call pop. Soda. There's, map, there's maps of it, but I want to. That's what I want to pull up real quick. Okay, pop versus but no, soda. yeah, yeah. Healy's oh, is look, the brand. Look. That's the correct brand. It's all people that say Coke is basically all the South. Um. Yeah. Soda, North Carolina. Okay, at least I win that one. <laughs> I don't know anything different. But I, I, I knew that. Like, I do, and I've never heard that. Like I don't, I can't, my mind is still not <laughs> comprehending that because, again, what we just described, Healy's, Vans, that is the brand. You are calling the shoe the brand. It's not the style of shoe. Right. It's not, you were saying but you, people you say, called Healy's something else. People I say don't tennis know shoes any. for all shoes when none of them are made for tennis. That's my point. Do you always remember the brand of your shoes? Do you just look yeah. down at your shoes and See, just say, I have this brand I call, of shoes? I say running shoes, even though I don't run. I just say shoes. I mean, but. you do have running shoes. Right, but I don't run. But still. And you guys call you guys call flip-flops without the thing. You call them slides. We didn't call it that. Yeah, what'd you call it? Flip-flops. No. Yeah. Flip flops, you have to have something between your toe, which yeah. that's called thongs. No, flip flops. Yeah. It's called thongs. Flip flops. Flip flops. Thongs. Flip flops. Thongs do not belong on your feet. Period. And in the in the military, we call them shower shoes. Because I mean, you wear them right, in the shower, right? So that you don't get disgusting funguses yeah. from showering with seven hundred other dudes. Yeah. And so. Women dudes so anyways 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 what other ones what other one you i know i can't think of anything so we've got you guys have to like question things i have to have more than just think of it yourself how disconnected do you think we are so you've heard australian slang you've heard new zealand slang you've heard british slang i love australia how, but, okay, so, but you can understand it, right? Like, you hear something, you're like, is that what that, right? Go ahead. Okay, to- not Australian slang, but she heard somebody say something really with a country accent and did it. Why is he saying that he's a tractor? Oh, yeah. And no. I was like. A tractor? He's or not saying tractor. that he's a tractor. I'm a tractor. <laughs> he's a traveler <laughs> and that was the name of the album chris stapleton it wasn't even on, he was like, it, she the, was like, it wasn't on the screen okay so i didn't see it <laughs> she was like i don't understand this song at all why is he singing about he's a tractor he is a tractor <laughs> at now <laughs> he's a tractor now he's literally singing i'm a traveler and that was the name sure, of the song sure. and the name of the album <laughs> I'm a traveler. It wasn't even on the screen. Traveler. It was a tractor. But hold on, but hold on. It wasn't even on the screen. So that means I couldn't even see the I know, I know. But literally for the entire three minutes of the song. Actually three and a half. I do Mm -hmm. not understand why he is saying he is a tractor. Okay, Charlotte was saying it at first. And then I started hearing that. Because I wasn't paying attention to the song. So, so all I heard like picturing was... picturing from your perspective entirely, I'm a tractor. <laughs> I'm a tractor. No, it's I'm a tractor. <laughs> was it, what, it was supposed to be in a southern accent? Yes, he's got a really deep southern accent. Oh. Yeah. So, so, like, you can hear the words, but then you and mix up the words. And twanging and kerplunking on the guitar. There's a... I'm a traveler, but I'm a tractor. There's... I'm a tractor. <laughs> There's a guy that I follow on Twitter who um, he, when, when he's actually like talking about something specific or telling a story, he will go full blown, like terrible spelling straight out of Louisiana, which is where he lives. And 
the first time I saw it, it was it was supposed to be white people, but it was like Y P Po. So W Y P E P O. I was like, Oh. Is that like a town or something? So and then he made a map of the of an area, a specific area, and it was like it was like poor white people and all the like all the other terms in the area. It was pretty funny. But my point of all this was I feel like people. that's borderline in a broom. Same white people? Just the, I don't know. Like, I, went, I don't know. Mm. That, that was, and I don't know if it still is or not, but that was like a thing on social media for a while where if you said that, actually spelled out like white people, it was one of those things that would get you kind of like shadow banned or your post would be like reduced visibility. <laughs> okay. Just like if you say the word news on YouTube. Just saying the word. It doesn't matter what you're talking about. If you're talking about the news or you are the news. Okay. You yeah. said the news multiple times. I did. Mm -hmm. That's my point. I don't know if it's... So we talked about this on an earlier episode. Level 1 Techs. Mm -hmm. They changed their entire podcast because mm -hmm. of it. It used to be called Level 1 News or something like that. Now it's like Level 1 Links with Friends. Is what they call their show. They're sharing the news. They're doing everything that they already always did. Mm -hmm. But instead of saying news, they're saying links with friends. All right, Miss C, what else can you school us on? Mm. You're supposed to be prepared for this. I am not prepared for this. You were supposed to put together an entire agenda. No, I wasn't. Minute by minute breakdown of everything we were going to talk about. No. Yeah. So, Missy, homework. you turned 12 this year. What homework. has been over the, the summer? No. What has been the greatest accomplishment of your 12 years walking this earth? Mm. I think that you taking over Elf on the Shelf this past year oh, was I love amazing. That. She also took over being someone's a Santa assistant. Someone's listening to this in the in the car with their eight year old or seven year old and right now. Easter Bunny <gasps> yeah, they, assistant. They better not. They might be. She, Miss C, became the Easter Bunny. Became assistant Easter Bunny, assistant to Santa, assistant to the regional bunny. And <laughs> Elf on the Shelf to the advisor. Oh. And I greatly appreciate all three of those. What? My favorite one late. was the elves. Yes, oh I know. And you want to you wanna tell them about all the cool things that you had Claire do? Claire's our elf. We lost her, didn't we? No. No, bef like before. Like it was in a... Why Box. No, yeah, I had, I had. I had. Why, why was she in an UGG box, and why couldn't we find her? It was at the other I house. Had, I had to. Oh. I, every year, I have to tuck her away in certain places, so yeah, that way I know that none of you another guys. Another UGG box. No. Are you sure? Yeah. Are, are you sure? She's in a different shoe box. <laughs> sure. Good job. Not UGGs. <laughs> Not UGGs. No. Oh shucks. Yeah, oh, shucks. <laughs> Probably just smushed inside of one of those plastic totes in the attic, just staring Stop. at the kids every time they open no. the door. Yeah. All right. No, she said shoebox, so. Yeah, tell it, Missy, tell us about what you had Claire do. I didn't touch Claire. I only touched the little elves. I, did, I didn't say touch. No, what did you I have her I, do? I, like no, I didn't do anything. With what? Talking about notes and yeah. pranks. And yeah. I didn't write any notes. Okay. One of the coolest ones that Missy put together was an entire uh, Ninja Warrior, like, track uh escapade i don't memory. i don't know how to i don't know how to say it but it was an entire ninja warrior um 2.0 the floor, <laughs> the, the floor is lava there you go it was so cool and she did it after i went to bed so i it was at midnight i woke up randomly and just was like i'm bored <laughs> I have all the stuff from my other did, project. Did you just question yourself? Yeah. yeah. I'm Ron Burgundy? <laughs> I'm bored. 
Well, you're welcome to do those kind of things in the middle of the night if you ever feel bored, because I would rather you do something constructive like that rather than destructive like sneaking out. (laughs) She's not going to be able to ever sneak out. Okay, so I want you to do something with the tree, and then I didn't have enough popsicle sticks for that. Yeah, it. so please, please. With the Christmas tree. Explain to the viewers what you did, like... It was like I built I built a bridge. Yeah. I built um I built a tiny ladder. These were all made out of popsicle cool sticks. Half of them were broken. And yeah. <laughs> uh, it was awesome. Where were they I, trying to go I, to? I used a whole thing of tape. Where were they trying you to go to? You did use a whole thing no, of it tape. Was, it was but ju- luckily I had finished wrapping all the presents. <laughs> yeah. And it was it was, no, it was my school tape. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. So yeah. <laughs> so I, I used my own school tape. Do we have enough tape with that big package that you bought recently to make it t- to and through Christmas? Or is that like summer mm. tape? That's summer tape for Charlotte. How okay. much has she gone through? That was what, like a six pack of? Yeah, she she likes making hand puppets and they all. But I'm just, I'm saying how much has she gone through out of that? She bought that what, last um, month? Guys, I'm still talking about how awesome <laughs> my project was. Already. Hello? Okay. So bring okay, it back. So it was, so it wasn't, so I wasn't able to do it on the tree. So I did it on the table. Yep. Wait, where did I put Claire? Um, did I, or did I leave Claire where you put her? She was, she was kind of like right in the middle. No. If I remember correctly. No, the table decoration was a part of the optical force. And that was right in the middle. More was the bridge though. She was, uh, she was, was either right in the middle of the table. Okay, then she was either at the beginning of the obstacle course or at the end. One one of the two, I can't remember. I think, no, I think she was at the very front of the table. Okay, so then so then that would have been the end of the obstacle course as if she had completed it successfully. No, she hasn't even started it. She was... Mm. Okay, well, I misunderstood. Thought that she had successfully completed it. No, it's the it. front of the table. That means when you're walking to the table, you see... You gotta make the you gotta make the bridge, but then have it be broken. Have her like hanging on. Oh my god! It broke while I was picking it up because I made it in the living room because I wanted more because I wanted enough space for it because I was like I don't have enough for the Christmas tree, so I'm gonna just make it right here. Anyways, Whisper was laying next to me the whole time. Oh, she was so mad at me for. I had the light on. I'm shocked no one, like, not even <laughs> you woke up. And I had the flash. I was like, can I just use the flashlight? Because, <laughs> like, <laughs> and then I was like, no. I'm turning on the light, like, the actual light. And I turned on the dining room light. Like, I turned on a lot of lights. How did you not, like, see it? Nope. I woke up at my normal, like, 5 a.m., walked out to it, and oh, was like, oh. <gasps> was- she didn't even hear me take a shower the other night. Oh, <laughs> so I was done making it by like 2.30 in the morning. Oh, my God. <laughs> Luckily, it was during Christmas break and you slept in. You're welcome. Next time, I'm definitely going to move you over this one. No, I woke up early. <laughs> I wait everyone's reactions. I woke up around 9, and I used to sleep in a lot later than that. Mm-hmm. Next time, I'm going to have you sit more to this side, and I'll show you why. Why? Because I want you to, I'm going to show you my perspective of you here in a second. Okay. You keep saying her name. I'll fix it. You look like Cyclops to me. The because oh, the camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hey, you were the one who put the chair here. I was trying to make it easy and convenient. Also, don't we say everyone else's name when they're off camera, but then you change the name when they're on camera. So like It wasn't my idea to give you guys the things before so so we do so do we need the nicknames because it's not like we're saying last names and middle names i think it's better okay that's just my personal opinion fine but if you want to call yourself anything you're welcome to call yourself anything definitely not chloroform (laughs) what about (laughs) bumblebee no why not also i want to show the bumblebee. You're a chonky. Yeah. You're a chonky bee. You're so chonky. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He can't fly. Just say <laughs> Wings are too what, small. What's chonky bee's name? I haven't named him. 
I gave it an no, A. No, you did yeah. not. Yes, I did. No. Yes, I did. Mm-mm. Yes, I did. I didn't agree with her. All right. But you can still tell what it was. <laughs> you can say it, because I don't remember it. That's the whole reason. I actually don't remember either. Yay! Wow, you guys have such great memories. Um. Anyways. No, I purposely forgot it. I didn't want it. I so, didn't. you had... A really cool birthday here this year, and then you had a couple of really cool sleepovers. And I've what was so your what was your favorite Spend the nights. Sleepover, no, sleepovers this year? Do, 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 Stop! <laughs> Stop! I'm fine with the crickets. And <laughs> and what made it so cool? Ah. Uh, Waiting on you. It already stopped. I I know because if you push the button the second time, it, it turns it off. I did that on purpose. Oh. All right, Missy. I don't know. <sighs> all of them were. You're exhausting. All of them were the bestest. Yeah, oh, but what okay. do you guys even do? You guys just like hang out. No. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> No, we don't do that. Every time I've walked up there for something, that's what was going on. <laughs> no. I go up there and talk to to Tall C. <laughs> you mean O or Z no. or D? Which no. One? Talking about your brother. Oh. And the like the doors open there. No, that was between um, Z and D. They were sharing an iPad, so and uh, O and me were. I'm not only talking about. I'm not only talking about the other night. I'm talking about like every time. They're over. Every time you've ever had friends over, yeah, or even not even just over anywhere. Well, just what I mean, it's different when just O comes over because you guys have like a sisterly bond, and you guys can go. An entire day without even actually saying anything to each other and just being in each other's presence of like, hey. Well, yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> since she's changing schools, I bet. Yeah, I've already said. I think yeah. I think your relationship is actually going to grow. See, I told that to Olivia, and then she was like, "Well, I don't know what to say to that." Please change that. I did not mean to say her name. <laughs> You're gonna have to remind me. <laughs> You're going to have to be the editor. I really did not want You said you've been saying that you want editing jobs. Yeah. So why don't you edit this video for us? No. Yeah. Mm. Why? Because I don't know how much it, like, how to actually work it. So you kind of have to teach me. I will teach you. Um, so you're about to create a monster. Yeah. And it's going to be Chonky B and nothing else. And it's just gonna be Donkey B in no, front of the camera. You no, know, it's gonna it's gonna be like it's gonna be like yep. This that is the entire this, that's the this. entire episode right there yeah. at the end. And then and then it's gonna just stay like this for like thirty. There is there is um image tracking and motion tracking, so you can track <laughs> you can track. See, a, I told you you created a monster. You can track a mask onto somebody, and that. You keep putting it in front of mom's face though, which is funny. You're leaving me in there, and I'm on the podcast with, 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 with Chonky B. Well, yeah. I can barely even reach over because of this. Well, hang the lights from the ceiling then. That's your fault. But it's, here, no, it's I, not I'll, my I'll fault. just, I'll just do it. Bzzz. And okay, so once you pull it away, I'm gonna explain something to these people. Any anybody that's ever seen the meme. Of the guy with a normal size head and then his face scrunched down in this little, like, so it's, you have the same size head, but your eyes are brought in, your nose is shrunk down, your mouth is brought up. That sounds disgusting. You've never seen that before? No. Is it like a That's what the bee looks like. Huh? Is it like, no, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Is this, its face is the same size as its body. <laughs> Could you, no, because, okay, if you're, if the ratios were the same, for one, you wouldn't have a nose. Bees don't have noses. <laughs> you would have, basically, the tip of your pinky would be your entire eye. Your mouth would be between your eyes. <laughs> wait, wait, but hold on. 
<laughs> Same distance. And it would be like the size of your tooth. <laughs> I mean, your entire mouth would be like one tooth. Yeah. 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 Two teeth. Yeah. <clears throat> so, Misty, what would you like to do this year? Mm. Play football? No. Play hockey? No. Play lacrosse? No sports. I hate sports. Play basketball? I said no sports. Play Chinese checkers? I said no annoying things. So if your answer <laughs> is always, mm, then what am I supposed to get out of that? You're supposed to throw around a bunch of things and see what sticks. No. They should. No. You know what? That'd be, that'd be like the right summer camp. What? Just a, like a day of one sport, a day of another sport, a day of but another more than, sport. But more than sports. one week. But more than one week. Oh. You'd have like two, three, possibly even four weeks. And it's Do you like, know how expensive summer camps are? So expensive. Yeah. Okay. Please, please just put a number on how expensive you think summer camps are. Summer camp. Two hundred dollars per person. An experimental summer camp like that. Mm-hmm. I would imagine is much cheaper than investing in all of the equipment that your kid is going to grow out of anyways. Mm -hmm. So you put them through at one time. Mm -hmm. It's the buy once, cry once mentality. Mm -hmm. Find what they like, find what they don't like. All right. And so you're saying all in all, start to finish, it would be like six weeks long of six different sports, one six per week. Six weeks long? That's yeah. all right. summer break. Put a number on it. We'll say 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Monday and, through Friday. And put on by a qualified staff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, put a number on it for an entire a, six weeks. With a large group, mm -hmm. not four kids that you basically are right. paying for yeah. daycare for. Yeah. 12 grand. You think people would pay 12 grand for six weeks of summer camp? Well, is it sleep That away? doesn't involve sleep away? Is it sleep, sleep away? away? <laughs> is that what you're yeah, sleepaway camp. As in you yeah. go there. Hey, wait, sleep hold on. No. You've never heard of sleepaway camp? No. Are you okay? Call it that. What do you, you call ever it? Experienced childhood? Overnight? overnight camp? Yeah. How does stop? That, that doesn't sound right stop. at all. Stop. Overnight <laughs> camp. That I mean, I mean, I if you break it down, then that would just be like one night. So like overnight camp, and then also spend the night. Well, camp. Yeah. camp camp also implied for me growing up and going to summer camp meant that you were staying there. It wasn't... There right, wasn't that's a, what sleep away camp is. But sleep it, we didn't have to camp. add the extra word. It was just, I'm going to camp. Unless you specified, I'm going to football camp. Right. And then it was... I'm Did going, you ever go to sleep away camp? Yeah. There's a place called Camp Everhart. You were just, probably a menace there, weren't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I yeah. cannot imagine you at sleep away camp. You would be like the one pranking people and having them yeah, wake up on top of their cabin the next day, like oh. covered in shaving cream and like. Or say there's course. like a small stream, just you live just there push now. Just push them down the but stream I also actually, on an air mattress. I also yeah. actually wanted to be there I got that and participate me. in outdoor activities. Ugh, but no, gross. back to, back to your camp. No, 12 grand is absolutely insane for uh, 9 to 3 p.m. Monday through Friday that did not involve sleeping away. Sleeping away. <laughs> I would say 500 or 600. You asked me what the price would be, not yeah. what I would pay. Yeah. Right. Nobody would nobody would sign up for that. So what so would you, the price be? That's uh, the question that you asked. Well if it's right. sleep away. So then it I, would be it would break down to probably three hundred dollars a week um for one child for is it sleep not away including not? any food, not including sleeping away, and not including any transportation. Okay. And then probably having to pay like an extra um fee to cover any rental of equipment so three hundred dollars a week times six and then we'll say another two hundred dollar rental for the various sporting equipment that's like the most you would be able to charge for that kind of camp okay so that's what we're gonna do next oh. year we're gonna start it up <laughs> What? 
Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, we'll, we will found it. Thank you, people. We have, we have expertise with nonprofit work now. <laughs> Everybody, you know how many adults, how many parents would be like, oh my gosh, blah, and it's blah, local? Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. And then all we need are a couple responsible 16, 17-year-olds to run it for us that are doing volunteer time. We don't don't even have to pay them. We pocket all the money. Oh, my God. (laughs) Yes. Fucking delusional. All right. So, anyways, back to my question. What are you hoping to do your seventh grade year? And it had nothing to do with sports. I hope my grades are better this year. And I hope that I start out in like the more advanced classes. Than you will, because that's how you ended. Yeah, I know. But. Are you doing calculus? Mm. Trick? Seventh grade. I don't know. But stupid. Seventh grade. There were but kids that I went to school that were doing that in middle okay, school. Okay, no. Back to yeah. me. Stupid technology class. I turned in my assignment in time for her to change my grade. I got a 100 on that. It should have affected my grade, but no, it stayed the same. Because you already had an A+. plus. No, it stayed at 3.4 instead, or 3.5 instead of going to 4. Mm-hmm. It was one away from a 4. Which, it, it was at 94. Uh, I had a 94 in that class. What is the I point? Was so close to a 96. What is the point of a grading system where you can't have granular changes like why would you just go three three point five or four when you could just reduce that down to like one through ten stop like what is the point of going to four if you're doing half stops instead of doing five in the no i'm saying okay so let's say you go to five right why can't you have a 5.7 why do um it's along the same as the GPA scale, which is the a one, GPA which scale, is one through have, one through four, and you can have above four if you take things like AP classes. But you can have a four point two. You right. can have a four point four. That's I mean, what I just said. But she said that they can't. They go from three point five to four. I'm saying, why can't you have the granular changes between at those their numbers? school at the next parents' night? Because if they're, if it's, so if you had a, if you had what would be a 3.7, would they round up to four or is. No, they don't do rounding up. No. Okay. So if you got your, if you got a score on a project, homework assignment, right? It's just this or that. There's no, if you had one letter spell or one word spelled correctly, it could bump you up a whole letter grade or it could bump you down a whole letter grade. Because you misspelled a word? Mm, you're oversimplifying it and then also making it more complicated. Because I'm trying to understand. Nobody's explaining. Hold on. <laughs> I'm looking for... Um, Your report card? Yeah. Uh, I but sent it to you June 26th. Does it's that only, help? It's only showing... I don't know why that. I know that off the top of my head. It's only showing the special sign-up. Just and type in June 26th. See, that's another thing. We didn't call electives specials. What did you call it? Did you call it elective? Yeah. The specials are special to their school. No match for June 26th. Hmm. What's the difference between that and electives? Because that's what it is. Right. That's just, that's something special about their school is. Is that they make up their own words to sound special? Yeah. And they, they're on a trimester rather than most every other school um, are broken up into quarters. Mm -hmm. Right. And they don't. So there's a lot of unique aspects to their school that are unique. Okay. Anyways, anyways. Did you find it yet? No. Why not? Um, because, and I need you to find it again and resend it to me. Yes. Why? Mom. Because I'm... Don't. <laughs> <laughs> because I need to read it. 
That's why? why. That's why. Why? Because I need every single it. report card that comes out, she makes me forward it over to her so that way she has and can analyze and how she can do better next Does, year. Can I give you notes? So she, oh yes, they are very detailed. Have you read your summer books? I don't have summer books. No, but she does have summer math work to do. Um, no, that's optional, and I'm going to do it two weeks before school. This is two weeks before school. <clears throat> exactly. <laughs> so. I'll do it over the weekend. What kind of math is it? It's, I also don't have that. Geometry. Yes, I algebra. forwarded you it, your math work as well. It's on. It's online things that you have to put down on paper and... You have to answer like 15 questions, but like from each category. So it's just multiple categories and it's from our eighth grade and seventh grade math teacher. It's going to be either hard in the beginning or easy in the beginning. I don't understand. I knew when I was taking pre-algebra and algebra and all that stuff. So I don't understand how they don't know. Is it just because it's common core? Ooh, a I little have to go bit, to four but, but it's more, um, they don't place students in classes until about two weeks in after they've, each teacher has analyzed exactly what class they need to you be do in. You do get a class, uh, you do get a class schedule based off, uh, your, like, what you were and at al- last year. And also teacher notes yeah. from last year. Yeah. So, this coming year will be the pre-algebra stage and mm. it'll be between how she did last year, which she was in the advanced math class last year, to also the first couple of weeks of the math teacher who has never had did, her before. Do they even have analyzing. options to do actual advanced math or are they stuck at whatever level the school offers? Yes and no. Um, the teacher is within their right to uh, help facilitate a higher level. So they can do pre-calc. You know Z? Uh, she got... Uh, okay, can I say like a classmate's name? Yeah, sure. Okay. Go for it. So my classmate Noah, mm-hmm. he's one of O's friends, and he was ahead in Zern, mm-hmm. and he got like really ahead so he just started seventh grade math and we still had like a whole month of school left so he was doing all seventh grade math and then he also got math from the seventh grade and eighth grade teacher that still doesn't clear up anything (laughs) i know but i had to mention it so we knew clearly that we were doing algebra or geometry or calculus, or trig. It wasn't, I'm doing ninth grade math, because you could be in ninth grade, and you could be doing any of those four, or remedial. Exactly. So, Wait, you do, we do like multiple things in a year. Okay. But I'm just, I'm saying like, it was clearly defined. It's not, I'm doing seventh grade math, it's I'm doing pre-calc. No, it's seventh grade math. Yeah, that doesn't. It clears it up so much. It it's actually, so clear. I Unless it's defined, like, as you, like, graduate and move on to, like, other schools, I think it actually makes it worse for you when you become an adult. Oh, well. Why? Explain. Because you can't clearly state, I have done this and I understand this. Because if you walk into an employer and you say, I know seventh grade math, they're going to be like, what does that mean? No. Say someone gives you a math problem. All you have to do is say, I know how to do this. It could be you about might, anything. You might know one equation from one type of mathematics. That doesn't make you an expert within that type of math. Like blah, 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 you're familiar blah, blah, with probably blah. equations from a couple. But different. what employer at say 15 years old is going to ask, "What are you an expert in?" I'm just saying if. If they're asking or if it's on like... 15 years old, they're going to be asking, can you put the groceries in the bag? Can you scoop the ice cream? You might might do like a summer internship or something like that. Or like there's kids that do ROTC and stuff and they have requirements that you... Or it's going to be like, go get papers from the printer. Right. No, because there's people that do like 
like aeronautics and stuff like that. <laughs> and you need to know certain things. So, you know, going through JROTC and stuff, they're going to say, have you gone through these math courses yet? And if you're like, I, well, I did seventh grade math. I'm like, Look what it does up. that? No, that's not how it works. Yes, it is. No. Here, I'll even show you. Hold on. You can't come over here. Do, 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 do. No more of that. Do, do. I'm going to record it and I'm going to put it on the soundboard. Okay. So I'll just look up seventh grade math. Okay. Seventh grade math. Hurry up, Cyclops. How dare you? You literally look just like from the X Men movies with his glasses. It looking up seventh grade math literally just says algebra basics from your school specifically or just like kind of worldwide almost. Okay. But what are you doing specifically? You're still not answering the question. I can't just exactly look it up. That's that's you're you're proving my point is that if so now if they have the expectation that, oh, if I Google seventh grade math, it's algebra. And then you're like, I never learned that. They're going to be like, so you're behind in school. See how what I'm saying here? Like being Hold special on. isn't Hold always on. Hold good. On. I've looked it up. Okay. I don't know how to say this, but hold on. Common core. What? You said I don't know how to say it, so I'm just saying words until you say it. Trigonometry. Hold on. Hey. Einstein's theory Why of relativity. Why is it all about remote learning? <laughs> we are not doing remote learning again. Why not? I don't like remote learning. You don't want to go <laughs> live on a boat? Or in an RV? Mm-mm. I'm scared of water. No. I'm not scared of water. What? Yes, I am. Deep waters. And when I'm on a boat, I can't see anything because of the muggy water. Speaking of which, did you just see what happened to Dave Portney? <laughs> he had to be rescued by the Coast Guard. He uh, uh, took his boat off the, the mooring anchor before he started to see if he had power and didn't have power. So he just... Drifted out into the Nantucket Bay. Mm. <laughs> he couldn't call for help or anything. So I, was, I guess somebody in a rowboat pulled up to him. And apparently a rowboat had a radio to be able to call. And the Coast Guard, this is all, it was just reported on a couple hours ago. The Coast Guard had to go out and like tow him back. And they were making, basically they were making fun of him. They were like, next time, check your equipment. Apparently he's only been a boat it captain It says like the three same times. things. It says... Algebra basics for our school for seventh grade math. Okay. But is that your baseline or is that your high, like your exceptional says, class? You can't come over here. You don't touch. You don't know. You're staying on the PDF or on the web. Oh, they're both PDFs. So let's see here. Downloading PDF report. That's a this is from 2013, 2014. What are you looking at right now? Are this you is, looking at the right thing? This is somebody's Wait, are you no. even looking at hold the on, right hold thing? on, hold on, hold on. I think he's looking at the wrong thing. Okay, this is the overall school's report card from the state. I thought somebody posted their report card online. <laughs> I don't know. You don't go to Khan Academy. Hey, you can't come over here. Yeah, she doesn't know what it is. Nobody knows what it is. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know. I clicked on the PDF. That's Khan Academy. That's you don't that's an online school. You don't go there. Mm-hmm. It's not clearly defined. I'm going to ask these questions at open house. I'm going to say, what are they actually learning? Like, Show me a book. Do you guys even have books? Do you know what a book looks like? Oh, my God. Yes. You have books? Yes. You guys have textbooks? Ish. What do you mean ish? 
Is it a PDF that you download on you your You have to go device? back over to your mic. Nobody can hear yeah. you. Yeah, you have to go back to your microphone. Literally. So she says that their school has textbooks ish. Text. Just well, Cooper still has like it. I bet you he still has not emptied that book bag. I don't know why he didn't want to empty it. That would be the f- the first thing I would do when I got out of school for the summer would open it up and dump the whole thing in the trash can. What did you do? Yeah. Same fine. thing? Yeah. Like, you uh, know I don't like holding on to anything. I don't like junk. I don't like extra papers. Throw it all away. I've I'm pretty already sure we emptied had a, all my school stuff. Did you guys have to like check out? Like, Did you have like that little thing on the front cover of your book? For you textbooks, check, yeah. 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 I wonder if they even still do that anymore. Probably. I meant issue textbooks. Yeah, at, like, probably. Normal schools. You think so? Mm-hmm. Where yours all highlighted and drawn in? Yes. And <laughs> yes. I saw him earlier. We got we got in trouble for that. They um they they did a thing where uh they would sample like just a couple of pages out of each book and they wouldn't tell you Mm -hmm. and they would have photocopies obviously because nobody was doing it with a camera at the time and they would photocopy just random pages and it would go along with whatever your serial number or whatever is that was assigned to your book and then when you did your book turn-ins they would audit those random pages just Mm -hmm. to keep people from writing in their books or drawing in their books did you ever draw in your textbooks? Uh, I'm pretty sure I did. I don't remember, but I'm I pretty did sure not. I did. Why? Because this destru- destruction of school property. Why would I do that? I went, well, you knew this. Like, I was a good student. As, as much as I talk about, like, the fun stuff that I did. Mm-hmm. I went to summer school to get ahead and graduate early. Mm-hmm. Like, so I had kind of the best of both worlds. I, I'm a very good test taker. I'm very good at focusing on an assignment when it's crunch time in the last minute. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I don't need to be in class because I'm just going to zone out anyways. I don't think I was ever tested for ADD or ADHD as a kid. Yeah, you said that you were prescribed Adderall after. Yeah, after the army. Yeah. When I was in college because I was like, I, I know this shit is not difficult, but I like. And then not. you were curious if there was a correlation between your TBI and mm-hmm. the ADHD, or if you actually had ADHD your entire life. The, That's more likely. The problem is they don't do any sort of like comprehensive medical exam before you join. Right. They do. They're just happy to have a body. They touch you and make you do a duck walk and. A duck walk. Yeah, it's this weird. I'll show you a video of it. <laughs> it's it's to test your uh, your uh, feet, see if you're flat footed. It's oh. weird. Are you flat footed? Do you need to do a duck Is walk? Charlotte flat footed? No. <laughs> yeah, she's Probably like. I wasn't she's walking gonna, on my tippy toes, and gonna, then instantly goes. She's gonna have arthritis when she's older. Don't say that. She's like. I'm like, Charlotte, stop walking on your tippy toes. And she's like, I wasn't walking on my tippy toes and then walks normal. And then when she gets even like two feet away from me, back to tippy toes. <laughs> well, you guys all have the attention span of a goldfish. No, Charlotte's <laughs> like, I can get away with anything. No, it's literally the attention span of a goldfish. As soon as the words have stopped coming out of an adult's mouth, your brain is already thinking about something completely different. Fresh and mozzarella. <laughs> that was so random. Mmm, <laughs> fresh mozzarella. <laughs> oh, see, I'm, she doesn't even know what I said. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, you were like, uh, after adult stops talking, like all the words leave their mouth, and they're like, think you have something completely different. <laughs> fresh mozzarella. She only got that synopsis because we were talking about it. She was memorizing it. She was hanging on to every word. To make sure she knew. What? No. Yeah. I'll ask you again. No, because you forgot. We had a whole conversation about what we started this episode off with. 
Okay, that was yesterday. The sleepover versus oh yeah, it was yesterday. Haha. Ha, so you yesterday was so long ago that you already forgot <laughs> it. Yes. And all that you remember is you got chonky B. Yeah. Yeah. And we, yeah. And we saw you <laughs> and oh left her 30 her minutes after having that conversation. Because it was when we were in the car when we left to get chonky B and tried um, to chase down O. So then it was just simply because she got chonky B. Yeah, and yeah. so everything is inconsequential. Chonky B means everything to her. It Even does. Willow is like crying tears of sadness that have been replaced with Chonky B. Yeah, she kept trying to cuddle with me yesterday, by the way. She's not allowed on the couch. You know this. Yeah, you I let know. her on the couch this morning. No. What? Andrew left. Uh, Andrew let. I have, well, haven't oh. been on the couch at all today. Why are you pointing at me? No, I'm saying the times when, when we just like stopped, like not pushing her off the couch. At first, it was one time. She would try like 20 or 30 or 50 times. And it would always be, no, no, you can't get up. And then she would go and lay down or she would go upstairs. And then she would come back and she would try again. Mm -hmm. And then gradually, she would get up there and her mom would be like, whatever. And then... No, it would be like, we can't stop her anymore. And then a couple, a week or two later, like two or three times. And now... She's back to just being the couch cat. No, no. Oh my God. When we came back, she was standing on the couch. <laughs> the other all two were at the, the door couch. and she was on the armrest. Yeah. Just <laughs> like, was that a prairie dog lemur? Was it the pops out? Prairie dog. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So lemur. Oh lemur. my God. <laughs> lemur. Lemurs hang from trees yeah. and enjoy rocks. Yeah, their tails. Same thing. Oh my, this is not the same thing at all. Did, did, they, no. Did she tell you that I gave her basically the entire breakdown of a movie that I've never seen? What movie? The Completely. Lorax. Have you seen the Lorax? We were talking oh about, my God. They're, they're we gonna, are watching the Lorax. They're going to be cutting down a bunch of trees over on Oleander. And, and it looks like. It and looks he, like they're gonna build something on that other corner. And then he started. And then he started wooded. saying that they're gonna start selling Oleander air. And what? Independence. Guys, leave a comment if you know what the Lorax is, please, because she's our engagement bait. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Oleander and Independence. Yeah. Starbucks, the mall, the Hobby bank, Lobby, and the, the trees. bank. There's houses right there. There's there's no. a big enough area where you could fit like a full blown store or you restaurant can, or something yeah. right there. It literally it's no. it's trees mm. as somebody's backyard. No, nope. that's all, it's all houses. No, down. it's trees as the front yard. They're, they're all marked to be cut down. Yeah. Yep. They all have the white band on them, and it goes all the way through. Yep. Also, uh, and then he started saying they're gonna sell bottled air, and I was like. Why are you describing a movie you've never seen? Oh, so bottled air. Yeah, that by the time she's an adult and graduated college, oxygen and air is going to be a subscription service. And if you don't pay your fee, you yep. die. Instead of... And she said, that's a movie. And I was like, what movie? <laughs> the Lorax. Except for, they tra I, sa except for they save trees in the end, so hopefully they save trees Isn't that a end. Dr. Seuss character, mm -hmm. though? Yes. Okay. okay, please comment if you know what this movie is, because... They are imbeciles and don't know what this is. The only Dr. Seuss that I remember was like the fish one and then the Grinch. Red oh, fish, blue Grinch. fish, one fish, yeah. two fish. Yeah. No, that no. fish yeah. book. Yeah. That's all I remember from no, Dr. Seuss. No, I mean movies, like movie wise. Grinch. Grinch. Have you and seen the other Cat Grinch. in a Hat? They made a movie of that? Yes. Yeah. I don't think I've seen the movie. You were the one who downloaded it. That doesn't mean I've seen it. But you... Jim Carrey plays on it. You also downloaded helps. the Lorax. So we played them both. Mm -hmm. You also downloaded the Lorax. Okay. Because Jim Carrey is just an oddball in general. Well, he's not even an actor anymore. Mm. You should see the volume of... Fake upcoming movie and TV show spam on social media. Here comes the B. That's it's every other post I see now is, oh, it's gonna be blah 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 too. And so and so is gonna be in it. And it's he always doesn't like, have a stinger. 
That means he's gonna die. He's gonna die. He is dead. He is dead. Oh my god. He's so. I mean. Oh my god. See, I messed up. Ooh. Ooh, I messed up. Flat butt. All right. Do we have any more words? Chunky bee. Chunky bee. Chunky bee. So that just be the title of the episode. <laughs> yes. Chunky bee. Yeah. yeah. Is that the title of the episode? Yeah. All right. Um, so we're closing in. Actually, by the time this video goes up, it's the last day of the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. And Oh, who is the winner for the other one? The the 500? Yeah. His name was Chris. Mm. He already got his money two weeks ago. Mm. Was it two, three weeks ago? Two weeks ago. I don't know. Whenever You're in charge of that. I wonder who's going to win this one. There's two people that could win it. <gasps> two they, people? Yeah. Wait, does that mean they split it? Yeah, it's split. Okay, that kind of makes sense, though. Yeah. Except for, that means you're getting their hopes up, as in... How like, many subscribers do we have right now? Uh, 949 when I looked. 949. Hmm. Interesting. And last time it spiked, the night before and the night of. Because you said people were making, like, fake accounts? Probably, but yeah, I mean... They better. <laughs> fa- well, Google <laughs> Google identifies that pretty quickly and, and bombs them back. So... Uh, Mm-hmm. We've had we've had nights where we've jumped up like 40, 30, 40, 50 subscribers overnight. Mm-hmm. And around 1 or 2 a.m., I'll see it. And then about 7 a.m. when I get up, we've lost 20 of those that we gained. That's basically a recurring thing every night. Weird. <laughs> and it's almost always at that same time period. Always. It's, just, it's the fakies. Yeah. Okay. The fakies. Should I keep the pink wings on the bee or should I make them? Don't forget to get subscribed. Okay. You just interrupted me. I thought you said you hated that. Get subscribed. Yeah. Why? Why do you say get subscribed? Because it's like like getting, it's it's like saying I'm getting a subscribed play button or I subscribed to paper. What should it be instead? Just say subscribe. subscribe. Or just subscribe. Yeah, I don't like get subscribed either. Oh get subscribed, y'all. <laughs> I really think this is like a normal people versus a Midwest episode. Yeah. Every, Everybody else is normal. Who's Who consumes You're the most not, YouTube here? Y- you, obviously. <laughs> and they say get subscribed. That's no, really what don't. everybody else says? Yeah. yeah. No. That's so crazy. I watch YouTube. They don't say get subscribed. You watch shorts of people playing The Sims. Playing no. The Sims? Yeah. Sims 4. Just say Sims. Don't say The Sims. That's The Sims. Also, also it just sounds I weird. don't watch YouTube shorts about Sims. You do? No, I don't. Yeah, I watch do. videos. See? <laughs> Visit the links in the description as well. Go to Nona's website. See all the fancy, cool offerings there. And that's it. Do you have any closing remarks? Comment if you know the Lorax movie. <laughs> okay. Comment there in Bristles if you know the Lorax movie. Okay. Oh, and then subscribe. <laughs> All right. This has been another. Oh, did I already click stop? I think so.